So I've been a sports agent for 15 years, representing athletes and coaches and broadcasters, and there's a common thread between the best of the best of the best. They're different. The way that they lead, the way that they compete, the way that they deal with pressure. The reason I have so much respect for Roger Staubach is he was a guy who did what he did on the field as a football player at a high, high level, obviously the highest level, and then transitioned all those qualities into the corporate world and had tremendous success in the real estate space. And that's what makes me think that you can capture all those commonalities inside of the best athletes and the best coaches and the best business people and re-deliver them to people at any level and they can sort of parachute into the content in this book and capture what works for them. One of the qualities of the best is that they ask a lot of questions and they really listen. You know, a lot of people can ask a lot of questions, but they don't really listen to the answer. When Arthur Blank bought the Atlanta Falcons, he wasn't really happy with the facility relevant to the players' training camp. And so instead of pulling all the executives in the room and trying to figure out exactly the kind of training camp they should have, he sat down with the guys and he said, what do you want? What's your perfect world? What kind of training camp do you want? What do you need? And he delivered the perfect world training camp for these guys. And so Arthur created a platform for the guys to win. The best are creative, and they're not afraid to be creative. One of the gentlemen that I interviewed for my book is a gentleman by the name of Joey Ryman with Bright House, a very successful advertising agency. And he was going after a piece of business in the automotive space. And one of the things that they shared was their concern with the amount of knowledge that Joey and his company had about the automotive space. So he asked him for one more meeting, and he said, look, I need to get in front of you guys one more time. So they came up to his office, up the elevator, and they got out, and they walked into the office, into the boardroom, and there was a car in the boardroom. And they looked at him and said, we, we gotta ask you a question. How in the world did you get this car up here? Because we know how we came up, and it wouldn't fit in the elevator. How'd you do this? And he said, well, you know, we, we heard ya about your concern that we didn't maybe know enough about the automotive space. So we went ahead and took it apart and put it together back up here to show you that we sort of get it. And, you know, we got the business. I think if you ask John Smoltz, who's been a right-handed pitcher and likely also a Hall of Fame inductee, why he was so successful, he would say that, you know, he went through periods of his career when he wasn't. But when he stopped worrying about what everybody else thought, he became a better pitcher. But the other thing that the best would tell you is that they're fearless. They wake up every day and don't play not to lose, they play to win, and there's a difference. They don't walk into a meeting and wonder, boy, I wonder if this doesn't go well. Or the best athletes in the world don't stand over a putt and think, God, I hope I don't push this. Or a pitcher doesn't stand at the mound and think, God, I better not walk him. They stand at the mound and think, I'm gonna sit this guy down. You have to have so much passion for what you do, your inherent fear that everybody has at times, your passion suffocates the fear that you might have about why you can't deal with something. Through YPO, I had the opportunity to meet Mike Feinberg, who started KIPP, you know, Knowledge is Power program. And KIPP is a program and a school that is in the inner cities that has helped turn those schools around. It's gotta come from your heart. You've got to want it. You know, you've got to really want to give back in the space that you're giving back in. It can't be something that you're just doing. And what Mike Feinberg has done so well with KIPP is taking kids who are failing and turned them into Ivy League graduates. It's unbelievable. You know, I've been in special situations with the best before they walk onto a stage for a huge speech or before they throw out a pitch or a coach before the Final Four. All that became very clear to me that it was the same kind of traits, the same kind of characteristics. And it was a unique combination of experiences and I feel like I'd go to my grave holding something really special if I didn't bubble wrap all this and re-deliver it to help other people.